Hello everyone, Oregon Moto John here. Really excited. It appears that I have my uh, heated grip kit um, from KTM. And um, yeah, it looks like we got everything here. Have the heated grips. Have this little, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, relay device. Um, looks like it plugs in. Um, my only complaint is it came with these instructions or lack thereof. Um, I got this slip in here. Which just amazes me. You get KTM parts and you get this slip that says, uh, go to ktmmanuals.com. Detailed instructions here. Um, I went to my manual and, man, there's nothing. It tells you how to turn them on if they're already installed. So, I don't know. Maybe uh, I'm missing something. That's very likely. Um, anyway, just got these today. It's um, was going to wait till tomorrow to do the install because I've kind of done a normal work day. And, but I can't. I just can't take it. So, I'm going to... Uh, try to install these tonight. Um, got a few projects going on in the garage, some wiring projects over here. But anyway, um, it, it appears that I found the factory connector for the heated grips right there. I mean, look at this. Um, I haven't removed the tank. Now, they aren't installed, so I could be wrong. But it appears that the connector is right there. I mean, right here. It's stubbed off. So, um, again, I don't want to get too excited, but it appears that I'm just going to plug in there. I'm gonna remove my seat. I'm gonna remove these crash guards and the factory grips and plug in the relay, activate them from the dash, and I'm hopeful that we'll be good to go. So let's uh, let's see if this works. Um, sorry if I'm excited, but I've been waiting many couple months or more for these, riding in 30 to 40 degree, 50 degree weather, and <laughs> keeping warm, but man, I love heated grips, so especially when it's cold here in Oregon um, and it's winter time. So anyway, super pumped. Hope this helps somebody with the install. Um, I found a few pictures online from Adventure Rider and kind of showing where the plugins might be. So if it weren't for them, uh, I wouldn't even know where to begin with this install. Um, but because of that, I was able to look at some of the pictures. So thanks guys. Um, you know, wouldn't be able to do this install without, without those pictures because I got nothing from KTM. Before I get too far into the install, I'm going to start by um, taking off this plug-in because I'm not even sure if this is the right one. Um, you won't have this. This is just something I run for my heated vest, so don't, don't look at that. But it's right here. Um, and then I'm going to take the seat off, put in the relay, and see if I can activate the heated grips before I start taking off my current grips because I do want to be able to ride the bike um, in case... In case I have this wrong and I don't have time to remove the tank tonight. Um, just don't have that much time. But anyway, let's see if we can get these uh, just kind of plugged in, mocked up, and see if it uh, if they work. And then we'll do the full install. So I found the connector. It was backwards, so I turned it around so I could get at this little piece here that um, I'll depress this little prong. And then this this little tip should pull off. So once I pulled that tip off, it, explay, it displayed that connector. So I'm gonna try plugging the uh, heated grips into that. So this is the way I think this is gonna work. This is my non-throttle side. You can see this is the throttle side. I believe this is gonna plug into this pigtail. And I believe this is gonna plug into the connector I just removed the cap off of. And I'm gonna put some dielectric grease in here and on here. And um, let's see what happens. Okay, I got my throttle side here. Went around um, kind of with the front brake hydraulic line. Wound around through the frame. Came back around to my little connector there. I'm going to connect in there. And it looks like this is going to be the best connector to plug the left clutch side grip into which I have set mocked up here and have coming around here following these wires around back through here and I'm probably going to secure these wires up in this little tunnel but I just wanted to kind of point out it looks like I'm actually going to change which side of the pigtail because this one just naturally seems to fit back up in here and this one looks like it's going to more naturally plug in with the um with the grip on this side. So I just wanted to show what I'm doing here. Okay, I've got this plugged in. This to the left grip. 
the pigtail um, back in there, which attaches to the right grip. And now it's just a matter of uh, removing the seat and then popping a little relay in in front of the what I believe is the fuse box. So let's go ahead and remove the seat. Um, of course, you guys know how to do that, so no big deal there. We'll just kind of put this in here, um, remove the seat, and we'll uh, we'll see where that relay goes. It appears that this is the um, dummy plug that I'm going to be on, or the dummy plug here that I'll be unplugging to plug into the bottom of this, which will go in you know up against the current fuse box up in here but let's see okay so this piece is on a bracket right here and i just took and pushed this to the right and it popped off the bracket just with my fingers didn't have to use a lot of force now this is as you can see pulling up i'm going to press this button and unplug this okay so this little end um, pulled off. You can see it's a dummy plug. And now this connector is going to plug into the bottom of this. Um, and then this will be kind of countersunk back up in there. So this um, wire pulls out a little bit if you just kind of finagle it around. Um, before I get this in its final resting place, which I believe is under here a little bit, I just want to plug this in and see how it... Um, and see if I can get things to power up and work. So here I am turning on the ignition. Uh, I'm going to go into the menu, um, see what we can find. I remember seeing this when I was writing. Um, where were the grips? Wasn't in there. Let's go into settings. Heating. Heated grips, select installed, let's back out, let's go heated grips, okay, good, back out, okay, let's see what that does. Hey, they're working. I have the bike running because I thought I messed up on the install because I couldn't get them to work. The bike has to be running. Probably a protective function so you don't wear down your battery. Awesome. So, super pumped. Um, they work. Um, it, I couldn't get them to work until I started the motorcycle, which kind of makes sense because they don't want you draining your battery if your bike isn't running by turning on your heated grip. So. Um, what you do is you go into your, you know, settings function and uh, first of all, I think I went into settings like I was showing you. I went down to um, heating, um, heated grips. I turned it so it says installed, but then I went out and then you go to um, motorcycle and go to your heated grips and then you turn them on. Put them on maximum so at first i put it on maximum and i wasn't getting any heat just with the bike on accessory like this or on you know ready to start and i, I checked all my wiring i checked all my plugins down here i checked this guy down here i'm like this is foolproof uh, and this is super easy you don't have to remove the headlight i haven't had to remove the gas tank yet although i'm still questioning how this is going to go in but um anyway super super simple because you just plug into this plug in right over here that you can see Plug in your left grip here, um, and this piggy tail is off of your right grip, and uh, you go in here, activate it, start your bike, and you're good to go. And look how cool, you can adjust the heat from your um, right from your dash now, worth the wait. Um, but they won't activate until you start your bike, so I, I literally thought my install had failed and quit recording because I'm like, wow, this is crazy, there, nothing's working, but you have to start the bike. Um, so now it's really just a matter of, uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove these grips. We'll take this screw out, um, take off the, uh, you know, factory grips, take off the crash guards over here, this screw here and a couple there. 
and uh, put the heat grips on here, crack this open, put that throttle throttle side grip in. I just didn't want to go through all that work and then not have them work. Um, and then it'll just be a matter of really figuring out how how this tucks in here. Um, it's a little tight down here. Um, so we'll, we'll have to work on that a little bit. But they work. Pretty easy install so far. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. It appears to me that this thing just kind of slips down in here. Um, so I'm just going to spray this with some silicone just to make this a little slippery and see if I can slip it in there. With a little finagling and some silicone, I got this to fit up in here just right. Um, I did remove this, just this fuse, extra fuse cover for a second and just kind of wiggled it back and forth and it popped right in there. So um, I'm happy to report guys, I, um, I know in some bikes, it sounds like this um, stub up here is um, under the tank. So if you can't find this little stub, you'll have to remove the tank. But I was really happy in this particular install. Um, it was just right here in the middle of the frame. And I could just pop off the little end. And, and then this, you know, I was able to finagle in here and uh, unplug the dummy plug from the back. And the heated grips work. Um, so hope this helps. Now let's finish the install. Okay, so to remove the crash cards, we just need a six millimeter Allen um, bit on the end. Remove this. And then next, you just need a Torx 30 for, for this right here. And um, remove that. And then on the back side, there's a, uh, excuse me, a 10 millimeter. And um, just hold that on the back side as you unwind that. Okay, it looks like to remove the grip, the stock grip, um, there is a, uh, excuse me, there is a little bit of a screw right up in there. I know it's hard to see. Right, right there. Sorry, this isn't really focusing, but it's right in this pocket here on the bottom side. And this is a, um, this is a T15, so you're going to loosen that, and then this grip will come off. And that access point is is right right there, kind of next to your your horn, basically. Sorry about that. It's hard hard for me to get one handed. Okay, once you loosen that screw, it pulls right off. Okay, now that I got it off, I can give you a better view. Here's that Torque 15 bit. It's pretty small. It looks like it's. Pretty lightweight metal, so just be careful you don't strip it out or else it could make for a difficult, you know, getting that out. I mean, you eventually get it, but that's that Torque 15, and that's kind of right here by your little uh, horn, horn switch. Um, all right, so that's off. Let's put the new grip on. I'm just still so excited. I've had installs of these where I had to remove the uh, um, headlight assembly and different things on this. You don't need to do that. And so look at this. We're going to get this on. And um, it also has a set screw in the same orientation it appears. It has a place for this wire to countersink around so that you don't smush it. So you can see how that indexes into this slot. So let's do that. Okay, now that's indexed in there. And then this is just going to install right onto here. So easy. Give it a little twist, get it on, get oriented where you want it. And I'm going to put this in the same location as the other one so that the hash marks are about like so. And I'm going to put that adjuster at the same spot. I'm going to put this adjuster at the same spot so that that little hole or the little Torx 15 is, is right there by the, by the horn, basically. And I'm going to make sure I get this where I want it and then snug it up. I already ran the wire around here um, where I wanted it to go, but we'll we'll undo these and tidy that up. Just a quick little note. Um, these are very, um, you know, the Torx 15 is small, so I just snugged it by hand and I didn't go gorilla tight on there. Just, you know, snug it up. You don't want to strip that little bitty aluminum screw in there. So just a word of caution, I didn't strip it, but I could tell 
soft as that is, it wouldn't take a whole lot. Okay, obviously we're gonna go ahead and put this crash bar gar guard back on the same way it came off. Okay, next, let's take off the other side, this crash guard, this six millimeter hex, and uh, take these off or loosen them up. Um, pull this off the end. It looks like we'll need to loosen up a couple of uh, uh, torque spits up there, as far as I can tell. Okay, it looks like it is indeed a Torx um, T25, which is located um, here and here. So you loosen those up, and I believe this will uh, split in half, and you can change out your throttle. But we'll see. Okay, so here's the uh, other throttle tube, the old one. You just slip that off. Notice there's a notch there. And then the new one we're going to slip on. I um, just need to get some slack in the wiring to complete this mission. And then it's going to slide on the end. Couldn't be easier. That slips right in there. Nothing to it. And now it's just a matter of coming over here and um, figuring out how this index is in here. It looks like it's going to index here in the end. Um, but let's let's see. Let's play with that because it looks like it's going to need that wire is going to have to have some sliding room. Okay, after working with placement of this wire way longer than I probably should have, um, I figured out how it goes. It's going to go nestled in this little. The wire is going to come up through here, and then it's going to go out to this grip. And there is a place that's notched out for this. Um, I'm gonna try to show you. My hand scratched up from another project I was doing, but this kind of indexes inside this grip. And this guy nestles. I'm sorry, it's so hard to see. This is gonna nestle right in in here. Okay. There. Can you see it? This little notch right here is going to go into that little notch right here. And it's going to stick out way further than you think it should. But, you know, as far as into the grip, but this countersinks into this spot up in there. It's going to countersink up into here, so it's okay. But you're going to take this little guy here and you're going to nestle it right in that spot. It's just, that's where it goes, I'm sure of it. And it all clicks together nice and tidy, just trust me. So here it is, nestled in its groove before I put that grip together. See how it's just sticking out further than you would think? That's the hardest part of this whole operation, other than realizing you had to start the bike for it to work. Okay, see that? Okay, then I'll put that grip in, that big bump is going to countersink in, and then I'll put the other half on. See, perfect. We've got this spot where it's in right there, and the wire's coming out the end over here, and the grip's on. So let's go ahead and tighten up this these two clamps here, put this back in, tighten these up, tighten up the wires, and uh, you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Um, really, just this little piece here took me a little bit, but uh, yeah, heated grips on the 890 Adventure R. Um, thanks for tuning in, and um, we'll have some other fun rides to come. I'll get the heated seat on and uh, hopefully soon, and I'll post a, throw a video up on that too. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you like what we're doing with the 890 and some of the other off-road stuff. KTM uses these little rubber, um, they're not zip ties, but they're um, cable ties. So you just unclip clip these and you can tidy up your wiring. When I get down here under the frame, I'm going to tuck up, tuck these wires up, um, up in here. There's a nice little spot for them. Um, probably need a few zip ties up in there. And then on this other side, I'll bring this wire um, up in here. Follow this along here. Okay, I should have taken this wire 
um, up above this because I want it to follow this, but I can I can unplug um, I can unplug from in here to do that. So that's that's not going to be be a big deal. I can still reroute that. So just get your wire wiring nice and tidy, following the factory harness, and um, yeah, that's the last step. But you know, this had me pretty intimidated, honestly, before I started it. I was uh, thinking about taking it to the dealer, but then when I looked at the parts, I'm like, oh my word, we got one relay that, or something that plugs in here, and the grips themselves are, could, couldn't be easier because you had this pre-made uh, um, little thing stubbed off up in here to plug into, and I'm like, man, that couldn't be easier if I'm seeing this right, and you know what, it is that easy. Um, it was easier than putting grips on the, the 350 over there um, because of all the pre-made wiring uh, built in the harness so I didn't have to remove the tank in this instance um, You know if you can get to this mine was just uh, stepped off up there where I could grab it um, And then this back here was just literally right there so I could grab it and when I lube this up really with some silicone I was able to pop that into place. So anyway um, guys good easy install and um, Yeah, if you have anything that you think would make this install go better uh, Let me know, but I, I can just tell you right now the hardest part was this grip, figuring out where that wire went in that grip. Um, so hopefully I, I can help somebody who's doing that. But uh, anyway, if I can do it, um, did this after a day of work, so I'm not probably my best. Um, you you can do it too. Um, yeah, don't hesitate. And thanks for the um, subscriber who recommended when I was complaining about not having heated grip. Somebody said, uh, why don't you buy them for a 890 Duke? And so that's what I did. Um, that's that's what's on here. But they're evidently the same. I thought it was a great idea. So thank you um, for, for giving me that tip. All right, right on. Now we're going to have warm hands. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, heated grips are awesome. And they run from the console. Just be sure to start your motor when you're testing them. Because that, that took me 10 minutes of unplugging things, plugging things in. I switched a few connections around just to make sure that I didn't do something silly. And... Um, Anyway, start your motor, activate the heated grips and where I showed you how to activate it and, the, and or it says installed and then back out, go to motorcycle, go in there and actually turn the grips on, start the motor and make sure that they are on and um, yeah, they'll, they'll work. All right. Have an awesome day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye. Last tip here, just make sure that wire doesn't hit your clutch. I got plenty of room there, but I kind of had to wrap this around and um, came up under through here and through here so that it, it didn't impede the clutch. You could also, um, you know, rotate this this whole assembly down so that screw isn't at the bottom. But I, I there's plenty of clearance here. Um, it's not going to hit ever. But just make sure when you're doing it that you got this sucked up tight as it goes around this bend um, so that it doesn't impede your clutch usage. And then, you know, of course, double check your throttle. Make sure it's smooth. Shouldn't be any um, any friction there, so just double check that. All right, um, you know, and it's funny. Um, I thought this was gonna be much harder, but it wasn't bad. And and you know, sometimes you can have a uh, you know a day that's uh, busy and doesn't always run smooth. But then you come home, you got some grips sitting on the counter, and you put them on, and it makes your day. And the install actually went smoothly, which I have to admit, somewhat surprised me, but this, this was a good one. Easy, easy, easy. Go for it. Hello everyone, Oregon Moto John here. Really excited. It appears that I have my uh, heated grip kit um, from KTM. And um, yeah, it looks like we got everything here. Have the heated grips. Have this little, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, relay device. Um, looks like it plugs in. Um, my only complaint is it came with these instructions or lack thereof. Um, I got this slip in here, which is amazes me. You get KTM parts and you get this slip that says, uh, go to ktmmanuals.com, detailed instructions here. Um, I went to my manual and man, there's nothing. It tells you how to turn them on if they're already installed. So I don't know, maybe uh, I'm missing something. That's very likely. Um, anyway, just got these today. It's... Um, was going to wait till tomorrow to do the install because I've kind of done a normal work day, and, but I can't, I just can't take it. So I'm going to uh, try to install these tonight. 
Um, got a few projects going on in the garage, some wiring projects over here. But anyway, um, it, it appears that I found the factory connector for the heated grips right there. I mean, look at this. Um, I haven't removed the tank now. They're uninstalled, so I could be wrong. But it appears that the connector is right there. I mean, right here. It's stubbed off. So, um, again, I don't want to get too excited, but it appears that I'm just going to plug in there. I'm going to remove my seat. I'm going to remove these crash guards and the factory grips and plug in the relay. Activate them from the dash, and I'm hopeful that we'll be good to go. So let's, uh, let's see if this works.